Hello brain lovers, Gregory here from the Brain Academy. You've already been infected by the coronavirus, but in a different way, and you're probably not even aware of it. So the long-awaited pandemic is here. Now let's be honest, this one is overdue. For years, experts have been warning us that this could happen. Hollywood has told this story over and over again. It starts small. This is nothing to be concerned about. We don't act fast enough. It gets out of hand. Residents are advised to find a safe place and stay I've there. just been informed that we are going off the air and switching to the emergency broadcasting system. And then we all die. Time's up. Except we won't. Children are not affected by it. Healthy adults recover quite easily. We're going to survive! Now true, there's a mortality rate of about 2.5%, mainly with people over 80. Now, if you have cancer or diabetes, there's a bigger risk of complications as well. But this is not by no means a doom scenario. From a global health perspective, this one is actually soft. And yet the coronavirus has infected us in a different way. Fear. The limbic amygdala is the center for fear and aggression in the brain. It's a fantastic piece of brain structure. You know, two small almond shaped structures which have helped us survive all through evolution through a very simple, now even simplistic mechanism, the famous fight or flight response. Now, we've seen a lot of uh, that flight response in the stock market. European stock markets opened in a tailspin after the US Federal Reserve's announced that it might scale back. It's Breaking volume. news concerning the US economy after the stock market's volatile week and falling into a bear market. The day is just beginning on Wall Street and there are fears that the Dow will drop and drop quickly. Wall Street and we're is about to close any minute now. The Dow collapsing around 1900 today it's worst single day loss ever we had the worst drop since 1987 that's over 30 years which means it was worse than the financial crisis the dot-com crisis or even 9-11 now, John Coates wrote a very interesting book back in 2012, The Hour Between Dog and Wolf. It looks at the stock market from a brain's perspective and how the decisions to buy and sell are driven way more by greed and fear than by reason. Now, with the decision in Europe to close schools, restaurants, bars, public events, and so on, well, people will start to get nervous. Antisocial behavior will flourish, and unfortunately, I can tell you, we will soon start hearing cases of aggression. The famous fight response. But in the limbic amygdala, there is a third way to respond to a perceived threat. The freeze reaction. With freeze, we slow down everything and hope the danger will go away. Now, interestingly, what we see governments do is an orchestrated mass freeze reaction of all public life. Hoping to slow down the spreading of the virus. And that's actually a very good thing. Because the truth is, we are not facing so much a public health crisis. The real crisis is logistical in nature. People can't all be sick at the same time. There are just not enough hospital beds for the cases where there will be complications. We need to spread this thing out in time. Look, it's just like with the financial crisis. If you get a bank rush and everyone wants to withdraw their money from the bank, even the most healthy bank will fail. Why? Because the system isn't prepared for it. Now, in the same way, our hospitals and health system aren't prepared to face a sudden spike in uh, patients. Just as our supermarkets can't deal with everyone rushing to buy non-perishable food and toilet paper. You're out of toilet paper. Why toilet paper? Are you all planning to go massively to the toilet in the days and weeks to come? You no, know, Corona makes you cough and it doesn't give you diarrhea. I really don't get that one. The limbic amygdala isn't the smartest part of our brain. It shuts down our prefrontal cortex and with it, our capacity for critical thinking. We start to panic, we see other people piling up stuff they don't need, so maybe we better do that too. And before you know it, your local supermarket is empty. That's how we overcharge the system. That's how we create a self-inflicted crisis. And that's what you get when you let the limbic amygdala run the show. The attackers can be stopped by removing the head or destroying the brain. As for me, uh, I think I'm gonna buy myself some more toilet paper, just in case. You never know. <laughs>
Now don't forget to like and subscribe. We have new episodes of this vlog coming out every week. Check out some of our other episodes. And if you want the real stuff, go to brainacademy.com. Join our 200,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharpen your mind.